Welcome to Grace Notes, the weekly community affairs show with Town of Yorktown Supervisor Michael Grace. I'm Bruce A. Power of Chase Media Group, and as soon as my chair stops swiveling, we'll continue with the show. But, <laughs> <laughs> and I was just asking the supervisor why I'm wearing a jacket and whatever. Right. Um, but it is getting chilly out. It's the fall, right? right. It's starting to get a little mm, bit uh, it's, cooler. It's getting there, but uh, and still summer nights, hopefully. It's still, yeah. uh, well, it's still beautiful, and yeah. it was a beautiful summer. And, uh, uh, Everybody's no. trying to predict a very cold winter. But yeah, I know. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll find out soon enough, <laughs> for real. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, in our tradition of running down some of the events uh, in and around Yorktown, and our show tonight is going to be about a very big event you're, you're going to want to be at this Sunday, uh, September 14th, that we'll be talking about for the whole show at the Jefferson Valley Mall. Uh, and some of the other things uh, that are going on, uh, the Field Home has its annual festival. In fact, right. it's the 10th annual festival they've had. Um, and that's on Saturday, September 20, starting at 11 a.m. And that night, uh, we talked about this on the last show, uh, and we had our two guests from the board of the Justin Beach Fund, Gary Cusano and Tom Iona Carey. Uh, and Livingston Taylor is going to be at uh, York, uh, Yorktown Stage right. on Saturday, September 20th. Um, and and they're, doing a work, they're doing a workshop, workshop in the, in the, in the afternoon. afternoon. Right? They, I'm sure people could still sign up for it if you just go to the Justin Beach Fund website that you could Google. And that workshop is uh, how, to, how to communicate with an audience from stage. Right, how to, yeah, right. It's um, stage presence, which is something, I was fascinated by that. It's something you don't normally think about with performers. You think, oh, you know, the guy is a talented musician, singer, whatever, songwriter, who gets up and performs. Well, it's not that simple. No. You know, to be up there by yourself and hold an audience for, whatever, 90 minutes, two hours, um, if you're Bruce Springsteen, four hours. Right. <laughs> that's, that's another matter. Um, and the 20th is also um, a pediatric encephalitis. Uh, uh, yes, uh, well, yeah, uh, right, the uh, pediatric um, hydro... Oh, hi, hi, oh, pediatric, right. Right, hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus yes. uh, fundraiser at DeBito Field. Right. And we had Kevin Clement and... Carly Clement on to talk about that. So, right, that's also... Um, that's yeah, lots, 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 Saturday, lots to do on the 20th. September. I know, it's a very busy day, yeah. yeah. And it's um, my birthday. Yeah. Oh, 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 come on. Yeah. We'll have that's to have a cake at every, every fair for you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and just in case you were wondering, that voice <laughs> came from the lovely Alexa O'Rourke, and we're really happy to have you here, Alexa. Thank you. The Director of Marketing and Business Development for the Jefferson... Valley Mall. Yes. Uh, and uh, and it's been great getting to know you and working with you. And how long have you been there at the mall now? I've been at the mall for about two months now, um, starting just starting on um, the in, into September. Right. I have been doing marketing for properties for about two years. I come from the Westchester Mall down in Way Plains, um, where I, I learned and soaked up as much knowledge as I could there. And then a great opportunity opened up at Jefferson Valley Mall for the marketing um, director and business development director's position. And I have been there, like I said, for the past two months, starting on month number three now. Wow, and um, just soaking up everything that I can and getting diving deep into the community. Yeah, no, and, and, and we could both attest to that. Yeah. Um, and we're really happy that you're doing that. I mean... Um, everybody, as you well know, is always asking about the Jefferson Valley Mall and what's going on. So now, you know, there's a, a face that we could attach to it. And, um, we, you know, we, we uh, were happy that you attended our uh, board meeting of Yorktown Organizations United mm -hmm. uh, this past week. And I know you had told me that when you were at the Westchester Mall, uh, as you just mentioned now, in addition, uh, you learned a lot about event planning, right? That's a Obviously, a, a very major uh, initiative that malls that malls undertake, mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of things coming up now, right? This fall at the at the JV Mall, starting on Sunday, September 14th. Yes, right? exactly. So let's talk about it's. I mean, just not to confuse people, but uh, most people in Yorktown, I would think, are familiar with uh, Community Day that was held for that has been held for 20 years, right? right. It was and the 20th the, anniversary right. this year that. Uh, the late Joan Valentine, may she rest in peace, started, um, and the town has always run, and then Alliance for Safe Kids came in and has done a tremendous job uh, under the leadership of Trissy Kushner uh, with that community day, and this is the second year that the Jefferson Valley Mall has done its community day, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 
That is correct. So last year was the first year that Community Day was hosted at Jefferson Valley Mall. Um, it really focused on the local emergency service team. So there was um, Yorktown Police Department there, Mayapak Police Department and Fire Department. And they showcased their vehicles. They, they took the town through vehicle tours and safety demonstrations. Um, when I first came to the Jefferson Valley Mall, the, the event date was already set. So I can't take credit for that. Um, but John Labasso, who's the security director at the Jefferson Valley Mall, was a previous Yorktown police officer. Um, so he has a lot of relationships, key relationships with the local emergency service teams. So he told me about the event and having a, a marketing and event planning base mind, I, I try to take it up to another level. Um, thankfully, I got in touch with Bruce through Yorktown Organizations United. Um, and it's been a really great relationship that we've built from there. Yeah, and we have, yeah. We try to incorporate as many organizations from around the local area as we could into the day, and we have a really great lineup set up, so I'm very excited for it. Yes, and, and let's drill down a little bit, Alexa, and talk about some of the things that are going to go on. You, you said you have uh, a lot of local organizations coming, and I know when uh, Katie Kavanaugh, who's here and doesn't want to be on camera, but <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll get her on camera eventually. You know, It'll take maybe a little bit. <laughs> next a little week. bit of work. Right, next week. Um, but when she contacted me uh, as United, um, it, it really the theme was not for profits, which of course is what United is about. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it was it was a perfect match. When I saw that, I said, "Wow, this is great." Um, and so, talk a little bit about uh, the types of organizations coming um, that you do have a lot of local not for profit organizations and uniform services coming and service clubs and, and mm -hmm. who are there to promote themselves and. And if they so choose, they could uh, do fundraising, right? They could yes, absolutely. accept donations. Yep, um, absolutely. Um, the theme to the event is basically discover your own backyard. Hmm. So um, I, we've called upon a number of organizations, like we said, in the local, in the local community. Um, it could be as you know, centralized to Yorktown as Yorktown Love and Action, but it can also be a bigger... Um, organization like Relay for Life. So any and all in between organizations we have coming on Sunday, we are going to be doing a diaper drive for the Northeast doulas. They have a pink Mini Cooper, and we've done in the past where we try to pack the Mini Cooper full of diapers um, to go to families in need from around the local area. So we are definitely pushing for that. And um, St. Luke's Church will also be there on Sunday, and we would like to collect um, canned food for them, also to give back to the local community. Right. So uh, as you said before, I mean, we do have a lot of local organizations that are really coming out to, to talk to people that are their next door neighbors about what they're involved in and how they can get involved and, and what their organization really means. And it's also not only from uh, within the borders of Yorktown, but from neighboring towns as, mm -hmm. as well, right? Mayo Pack and uh, Cortland and... Absolutely. Um, as I said before, with the um, emergency service teams, they will be coming from Yorktown, um, Mayo Pack, Mohegan Lake. So we have a good number of local emergency teams coming out and they are going to be displaying their vehicles. They're going to be giving tours and safety demonstrations. We actually have a fire, um, a, like a fire truck that's coming that has fake flames on it and the kids are going to get attached to the hose and actually take down the fake fire. So it's really about safety, showing the children of the community like how to, how to care for themselves and, and deal with an emergency situation. So that's that's, great. it's a big highlight of the day. Right. And, and you also mentioned outdoors. There's going to be a lot going on, right? Outdoors in the uh, very large parking lot at yes. J.B. Mall, the uh, bounce house. Yes. Uh, and... Um, you said Camp Kiwi is going to be there, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kiwi Country, Damp Country Day Camp is going to be here with a new inflatable. It's kind of like a bounce house, but it's a new way that the kids play dodgeball. So All they're right. going to be showcasing that. I have a bounce house coming, face painters, cotton candy machine, popcorn machine. So it's really a fun day for families and children to, to explore what's going on and, and places that they can get involved in around the community. Yeah, excellent. And by the way, on that uh, dodgeball bounce house, I, I wanted to ask, what's the maximum age for that? Because I, I know a couple, <laughs> <laughs> I know a couple of people who may in? want to right. get on it. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Um, and then uh, I also know, well, not to, not to do a shameless plug, but the Harrison A. Portfield, the Dreams Foundation, of course, United will be there, Support Connection, Friends of Jacqueline, right? You already mentioned 
Yorktown Love in Action. And mm -hmm. of course, we know all of, uh, all of these organizations that do a great job locally. And then uh, you've also been talking a lot about uh, trying to uh, work much more closely with the, uh, the seniors. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't necessarily mean high school seniors, but those two, but senior citizens mm -hmm. uh, in Yorktown. Um, who, over the years, of course, have been you know, some of the most uh, frequent um, users of, of the mall with mm -hmm. you know, walking in the morning. And of course, as you said, you, you see yourself uh, not far from your office near the food court that they're there like right every morning. Every the, single morning in the Lenny, exact Lenny same Tosky, table. Right? Yep. Right. And he's the one, Leonard. Lenny, he's the, Leonard just turned 90 and right? He will be turning, I think, 93, he told me, which right. I still don't believe. Well, I still don't awesome. believe that. I think he's a lot younger <laughs> okay. than that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I am instructed to bring him Italian cookies and coffee on the 23rd at 9.30 a.m. in the food court. So that is really? that is what I'll be doing for sure. Well, you know what you should do? You should bring him a a crown, and then say, the king in his food court. <laughs> exactly. And he, honestly, I think that's happened to him before. I think, probably, they, yeah. I think they greeted him in, in some fashion like that in yeah. previous years, he's right. told me. so. Yeah. Very very nice gentleman. Yes, yeah. very nice, very nice. So I, 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 I talk to them every single morning, um, and I, I like to, to think that I'm op my, I have an open-door policy. So if there's something that they'd like to see come to the mall, I want to know about it. Um, if they want to reinstill a, a mall walking program, I know, Bruce, we, we spoke about yes. this previously as well. Yeah. Um, it's something that I would love to see Jefferson Valley have again. Like you said, we have an extensive parking lot right. for the summer, spring, fall months. We can do a, a loop around. It's, 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 a, yeah. it's a long walk. And then during the winter months, the inside of the mall, I, I would love to, 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 uh, to start up the, the mall walking program. So there's just, you know, different avenues that we can go into, and I'm, I'm willing and able to listen to any, any suggestions from all around. So it's really about what the community wants to see in the mall and, and how we can give back to them. Right. And you have also, uh, again, right across from your offices, uh, the community room there. Mm -hmm. right, that I don't know that everybody is aware of that and uh, aware that, right, that they can make use of that if mm -hmm. they arrange it through you. And, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, and that, that's a nice room that people could use, like a... Uh, like a com not a common area, but uh, as a, um, a you know, room place. for meetings right, and right, yeah, right. that's right. right. Presentations, lectures, seminars, mm -hmm. things like that. Two, don't you have, to, you have two rooms there, or just the one room now? We have one room that's right okay. off of the food court. Right. Yep. Yeah. And, and then we also should mention Alexa, um, because I know that a big part of the audience for the show are the pe very people we're talking about uh, that you want to form, and we've talked about actually doing this with with uh, the JV Mall and United, a, I mean, what I call, you know, Senior Advisors Committee, for lack of a better term right mm -hmm. now, or at least as a working title, uh, that could be uh, a, a, like, like a sort of a um, rolling or movable focus group, you might say, in terms of uh, you can bounce things off of them uh, as, as far as, you know, what that particular constituency would like to see out of the mall and how you could better serve them, right? Absolutely. Um, and and then um, you also have planned a senior seniors day mm -hmm. uh, that the date isn't set right, but um, but it'll be coming very soon. Right? Yes, exactly. Right. The date is will be set very soon. And yet again, I'll be working closely with Bruce and Yorktown Organizations United. Like you said, uh, um, we're in the process of finalizing the senior advisory board. Sure. I had someone come up to me this morning about it, a little bit confused on the right, dates, right. but um, I'm very excited about, about getting involved with it. And I just want to, you know, take a, take a small focus group from around the community and see exactly what seniors from around the area would be interested in. If I plan a senior fair, I'm happy to do it, would love to do it. What exactly do they want to see come out from that? Is it 50s music that they want to listen to? What type right. of organizations do they want to see represented there, yeah, health-wise? Right. We, we, we have our senior, you know, we, Yorktown has a very active senior community with senior clubs. Exactly. We also right. have our, you know, senior yeah. advisory board on a town level. Mm -hmm. So right. the people that you can tap into right there, you've, met, right. you've already yeah. met some of them. Part of a, a couple of them are with Yorktown Organizations United on the board with board. us. Mm -hmm. Right. But uh, that is a mecca, had, had been a mecca for a lot of the seniors with Jefferson uh, Village right next door yep, right. for exactly. a long time. And they, they're they all waiting with bated breath to see the mall uh, rejuvenated and, and, and back to life and vibrant again, I think. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and it's, a, it's a great customer base for you, really big one. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're very excited to, to start that. And hopefully we can have our first focus group 
in the next couple of weeks. Right. So. And, and come we'll, in September. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, and we'll put you in touch with you know, Joe Devery's over there at the Jefferson right. Village. You know, so you know, and a couple of people, and they 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 you know every, every condo has their board of managers, but we can right. get you involved in there as well. So you can have a real. Uh, uh, Direct communication line with the, that whole senior population. That's Perfect. Up there. Yeah, no, I mean it's it's a great resource, you know that they can yeah, tap I, into. Yeah, yeah, I mean no, it's I think you know it's, it's, it's going to help them all. Yes, I, I think when you know when I walk that community, I mean that's one of their big concerns. Well, you're 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 the next their, their next door neighbor, mm -hmm. right? And they're really anxious to see you come back to life in a big way, right. and and, uh, it, and uh, you know reaching out to them, would, I think, it would be a great thing for you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for, for your company. And then also on Sunday, we, uh, we want to make sure we let everybody know that uh, there's going to be a stage there uh, yep. and that you're still happy to uh, sign up performers. Exactly. If anybody wants to get up and sing, dance, tell jokes, play the violin. Family, family jokes. Yes. Um, <laughs> and right, play the violin, the accordion, you know, all the popular current instruments. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, and you have, you, you told me before, and, I, and this is really. Uh, Fascinating. The uh, local Toastmasters, what is it, Toastmasters, Toastmasters uh, America? Yeah, or, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, Sammy Rodriguez, I know, who is the president of the organization, has done a great job. That's a very, that's a good example of a, uh, the kind of community spirit Supervisor Grace always talks about, where it's a very new organization, right, that this young woman, Sammy Rodriguez, started right. less and than I a year ago. Uh, yeah, maybe and, a year and, ago. Uh, and immediately she really got it going. Right, and they, I think they just. Uh, chartered the Yorktown yeah. uh, Toastmasters chapter. Mass chapter. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah, they're often and, off and running. Right. Um, so that's a great place for them to get up and absolutely. to uh, speechify or whatever. Absolutely. Or give we're, a toast, I guess. We're excited so. to have them on board, and they have already told us that they are prepared to do on the spot speeches with a little platform. So, yeah. Yeah, anyone that box. thinks that you're uh, yeah, so Bruce, you better jump up oh, on yeah. there. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Alexa, for putting me on the spot. But <laughs> we'll if you put a microphone in front of oh, me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> But uh, the, <laughs> Toastmasters is an organization that basically is, it teaches uh, public speaking. Yes, mm -hmm. right. And uh, so they have, a, they have a formula by which they go by and a, and a whole routine, but the, it, the whole idea is to uh, to help in public speech. Right. It's, yeah. Well, you know what they say, you, know, you hear this every so often, that the second greatest fear after death is public speaking. Mm -hmm. You know, that people are very uh, afraid of getting up and talking in front of a group. So, so they're really performing a great service. Yeah, uh, and, it, and, it's a, and it's an interesting group of people, a really, a real, yeah. really cross-section of people. And, and, and it's not, not necessarily people that have careers in public speaking or even no. are going to public speak, publicly speak, but it's... It is a great uh, exercise, in, in, uh, and, and it is a lot of fun. I've been to a couple of them. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we'll see what they pull out of their sleeves on right. Sunday. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, and also f uh, food vendors, right? You still... Uh, yep, exactly. What well, would like to hear from them, anybody who wants to, to go to their local uh, food businesses and show their wares and hand out samples or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Yep, I mean, the, the event is only a couple days away. Right. We... we Right, it's the 14th already this Sunday. Yep, it's yeah. this Sunday, right. um, and we have a full set list. However, if, if you're a local organization that hasn't heard about it yet, please reach out to Bruce or, or myself. We're, we're happy to add you to the roster. Right. Um, again, like you said, local restaurants, local bakeries that want to get their name out there. You right. know, Like I said, this is a, a, an event f that discover your own backyard. So people are coming out to see what learning center their, their child could benefit from or, or what camp their child could benefit from, what restaurants have, been open, like, have opened up recently. So right, it's really exactly. about opening right. the doors to, to, all, right. to the and community. You, so you have to give the contact information. And is there a deadline to get a hold of you in terms of making a presence on Sunday? <laughs> you know what? I'm, I, I'm going to smudge the deadline line so just please um, reach out to me yeah. or, or bruce whenever whenever you get a chance um as long as it's before sunday at 9 a.m right, we'll say, find a way, way for you right. yeah Good. and the and, and i'll just give out the the number over there at the mall to reach right either you alexa or Catherine. Katie. right uh, it's 914-245-4688 mm -hmm. or uh the email for united which uh, it's good to give out anyhow is right is United, but that's Y-O-U, knighted, Y-O-U-N-I-T-E-D at, Y-O-U-N-I-T-E-D-N-Y at gmail.com. So it's United N-Y 
uh, at gmail.com. Uh, and, and you never know, maybe we'll pick up uh, some more people on the way to Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, which would be a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, then, and something else you have going on, uh, the pink... Uh, the, paint the, them all pink. Uh, paint them all pink, right. Yep, so um, October is Health and Wellness Month, and obviously a big part of health and wellness is breast cancer, breast cancer awareness. So uh, in October, October 11th, uh, Jefferson Valley is planning on hosting Paint Them All Pink, where we're going to incorporate a breast cancer fashion show for all breast cancer survivors, um, where they're going to they're going to get a chance to try on um, clothes from from various retailers at the Jefferson Valley Mall, like the Loft, um, Charlotte Russe, Forever Twenty One, and they'll be able to actually rock, walk the runway. Um, and it's a, it's it's a really enlightening event, and we really look forward to that as well. That's great. And uh, have, have you talked to uh, Support Connection about that, or to? Uh, I, that's yeah. on my list of, right. of to dos. And actually, their big supporter walk is the previous weekend. Mm -hmm. Right, it's the prior You're weekend. Going into the 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 eleventh, October eleventh. But the 11th. supporter walk is the fifth. I think. The, yeah, fifth right. affair is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 12th. so I was going to say, 11th, that weekend, right? yeah, that There's weekend, 12th, that's Columbus Day well, weekend. Yeah. Uh, so you're, it's a Saturday? Mine's a Saturday. Saturday yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, so because... Saturday, Sunday, and then your my, right. golf... We, our golf, we do a, uh, our foundation, oh, Harrison right. Apart Field Gyms, does a golf classic at Mohansic. So you have Paint the Pink on Saturday at the mall, Sunday at the Street Festival, then the uh, Harrison Apart YAC Golf Classic Monday at Mohansic. So it's, and I'm sure there's other events right. as well. Yes. Um, so it's going to be a very busy Columbus Day weekend, as it should be. Yeah. Right. And, and as we like it here in Yorktown. Right. Yeah. 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 We have a very busy schedule over the next couple of months. And in addition to all the other events, like Paint Them All Pink in the, in the Senior Day and Community Day, we also host a Kidgets Club, oh, which right. is our kids club. And every month we have a kids event. It's only $5 to join for the entire year. And like I said, every month we have a kids event and it varies um, from theme to theme. And that includes Breakfast with Santa and Breakfast with the Easter Bunny, which is a huge hit. Um, and actually this Saturday, we have one of our Kidgets programs Kidgets? called Julius <laughs> Jr. Kidgets, yes. Um, Julius Jr., which is a new show on Nick Jr. Um, so they've partnered up with the Kidgets program, and we're going to be doing a um, showcase where we're going to play one of the one of the episodes at our um, little event on Saturday. So that's from 12 to 1:30 in Center Court. And that's well. Saturday the 12th, September. Saturday the 13th. Um, I'm Saturday. sorry. Yes, right. I'm sorry. The 13th, Saturday. right? This Saturday the 13th, yes, and then right. the 14th right. is Community Day. So we have a, a packed weekend that we're really excited about, for sure. And, and the other thing I wanted to mention, because Supervisor Grace talks about this a lot, and actually it is part of the whole mission of uh, Yorktown Organizations United, is the uh, mutual uh, dependency, you might say, or interdependency of businesses and charities and not-for-profit organizations. And um, as you know, the big uh, catchphrase these days is cause marketing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if everybody or enough people know that the parent company, of the mall, of J.V. Mall and, and Westchester Mall, uh, Simon, has a big foundation, right? And isn't it focused on uh, youth and, uh, right, the Simon Foundation? So, um, Simon... And so it's a way of giving back right. to the community that supports its businesses. So yeah. Simon manages the property. Um, Washington Prime Group actually owns it, and Simon is, is, is the is the company that manages it, manages it at this time, and they founded Simon Youth Foundation. Right, so right. Um, at a local level, we accept donations at our guest services booth um, in any increments, and those donations go right back to the community, and it actually goes to scholarship money from someone in, within the community. Right. So that, that's what Simon Youth Foundation is, and we're, we're always collecting donations. In our food court, we have um, a little fun little money drop where you watch the money go down, and, and also you can walk up to, right up to guest services and make a donation that way. Well, right. Yeah, see, that's, and that's why uh, you, you really have to get part, you participate in your kind of organizations united because you're going to find out that there is a lot of organizations in the town, small organizations and clubs that that do the same thing, raising, mm -hmm. you know, getting scholarships out. The Circle of Da Vinci does it. Uh, you know, there's 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 quite a few um, that are are you know teen and youth orientated, uh, you know, charitable organizations um, out there that are, are constantly you know looking out for our, 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 our young folk in, in town. So. Right. Right. You know, there's a lot of avenues for, for you to get, you know, for Simon to get involved. Oh, yeah. Right. No, there's, yeah, there's no lack of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, I know we're not going to go into other areas right now, uh, but um, 
I guess it's safe to say that if anybody out there is wondering that there will be some developments that they'll be hearing about right, in the coming months uh, mm -hmm. um, in case they have any questions that uh, maybe some of their questions will be answered. Well, I guess we have to sit tight and wait. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, 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 right. yeah. Right. yeah. But, uh, we're working very closely with our corporate teams. Um, we are in the middle of finalizing final changes right. that will be happening to the property and any information will definitely be forthcoming and I will be back here to talk yeah, I was about say it. That, so yeah, then we can stay write, tuned for that. But we can update people. Yep, yeah, we're in the midst of finalizing right. some right. changes that are gonna occur to the property. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, well we're all very hopeful that that occurs very quickly. <laughs> yeah. But in the meantime, uh, as you just heard, there's gonna be a lot of activities at the mall for families and uh, anybody who lives in the area, whether it's Yorktown or Mayo Pack or Cortland or surrounding towns. Uh, so we really encourage everybody to um, just make yourself aware of what's going on uh, and get out to the mall. Um, mm -hmm. And there'll be a lot of things that uh, you'll be able to take advantage of, uh, really going through the rest of the year. Right? Absolutely. Be a lot. Um, and that's about it. So anyhow, Alexa, thank you very much for being on. It's this has really thank been great, you know, me. that people can hear and see um, you know, that, that well, it's, I, I, the, I, mall, I, the mall really wants to be even more part of the community, you know, yeah. going forward. Right. Well, this is what we've been, we've been trying to do here, yeah. you know, both through Yorktown Organizations United, working with the, the Yorktown right. Chamber of Commerce, uh, you know, building the relationships with the business community, our, our, our commercial tax base, and to get them involved with, because, you know, we have a, I, I always say we have a very generous commercial tax, you know, a, yeah. com a, a business community here that's constantly giving to our charitable organizations, mm -hmm. sponsoring them. And as you know, you know, times have been tough and for, yeah. for everybody, and times have been tough, especially for those groups that have been, uh, that are involved in the community outreach. Um, so we're trying to bolster them and, and have them continue to do the good work they, that they do do, but it requires, the involvement of not just individuals, but probably more importantly, the businesses in the in, in the community, and we're we're hoping that 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 alliance grows uh, and keeps Yorktown very vibrant because it's an essential part, and it's what makes Yorktown Yorktown. It's 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 really been the defining character of Yorktown, and what I always call Yorktown exceptionalism, right. which you don't you'll go to other communities, you won't find what you find in Yorktown, and it's that the spirit of uh, the charitable spirit, the giving spirit. Yeah, and the community-mindedness of Yorktown. I like to say, it's the, it's, it's the biggest small town in New York, and, and we want to keep that small town camaraderie and respect for each other and, 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 and caring for each other, and I think that's a very important thing to do. Yeah, absolutely. You know. So again, we want to thank Alexa O'Rourke, who is the Director of Marketing and Business Development yes. at the Jefferson Valley Mall, and we'll be seeing a lot more of you, absolutely. whether it's on the screen or in... Yeah, and well, the well, or in the both. offices or you know everywhere. Um, and I, welcome to Yorktown, to and I hope you yeah. fit, you find it a very warm place to be and in, in a, in a, in a warm place to work. I already have. But, thank you. <laughs> no, thanks, Alexa, and thank you for watching Grace Notes with Town of Yorktown Supervisor Michael Grace. I'm Bruce Apar of Chase Media Group. Be sure to watch us next time and every time because Yorktown is your town. Thank you.